Adam Nizam, a.k.a. Nikki Love, your African indigenous traditional healer. And I'm back for a request of one of uh, the family. I like to say family. I like to say fam. <clears throat> Fans, y'all. Okay, excuse me. That requested me to do a divination on Aries. Okay, so we're going to do a divination on Aries. We're going to be quick and fast. Okay. What energy do we see from Aries? Ancient ones, ancient ones, ancient ancestors. Who do we speak to? We speak to. We speak to. What do we see for Aries? For Aries, let's see what we get here. Now, with Aries, um, now let me explain this to you all who are not uh, understanding what this matter is about. Right. Astrological, cosmological matter. Okay, so we have the different planetary systems here, and some of the meanings, and we have the um, cardinal points, the eight cardinal points of the Earth here. Okay, and then we have the zodiac signs. Okay, which is your astrological part, and then your cosmological part is the top where you see the different planetary systems that you can land in. Okay, so here we got. Um, the ele the human elements, okay? This big bone represents a male. This uh, skinny bone represents a female. Now, it's on the red side, which shows that if you're, if you're a female Aries, you need to stop being so negative, female Aries, okay? <clears throat> Some of you can be a little bit on the negative side, which you need to, need to tone down. If you're married, if you're in a, in a, in a relationship, or I call it a one-ship, um, the male comes up very positive in your life, okay? And if you're a male Aries and the female in your life comes up kind of, you know, on a negative side. Now, not necessarily bad negative, but can be a little bit negative or carry a little bit of negative energy. Okay? So, Aries women, tone it down a little bit. Well, it can be off the chain sometime, okay? But tone it down just a little bit, Aries women. So, actually, what it has here, okay, now, male Aries, that your human uh, element talks about... As above, so below. As within, as without. So the male Aries, you're going through a spiritual transformation. You're going through a spiritual transformation and you must and embrace the energy. Do not ignore it. You have to go through this spiritual transformation, male Aries, okay? Because you fall on this aspect right here. This is as, as above, so below, as within, without. And that's where the armor gets out. And that's where the Armageddon comes in, because y'all know Armageddon is not the real thing, it's the, it's the soul within. Now then, what's going on within, do you choose to be a righteous person or unrighteous? Do you choose to be evil or, or bad or good? That's what that means. So, Aries men, you're going through a, a, a transformation in, in your, your life. life, okay? Now, we have the actual uh, stones... Or the or the rock stone. No 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 no. This is a this is a tiger eye. The tiger eye falls on grounded physical being. Okay, non spiritual. Okay, and it ties right right in with what it is saying. You are non spiritual, Aries. Okay. Now the human uh <clears throat> the female the human element of the female also falls in that energy. So uh females that are Aries. You're also going through a spiritual transformation too. Get ready, okay? Get ready and embrace the energy of going through your spiritual transformation. It shows here that you was non-spiritual because you were so focused on the physical. You understand? You wasn't paying attention to the spiritual, but now the universe is talking to you. Pay attention and listen very closely to the universe. Universe, okay? okay? Now, let's go over here. Now, these shells right here are what we call oblong shells. And when they land on this side, that means the money is okay. Okay, and when they land on this side, that means the money is a little bit dry. Okay, so you have your uh, oblong shows that actually say that your money's okay, Aries. Um, for this month of February, your money's you know just okay. Okay, it could be it, it could be better, and it probably will get better. Okay, real soon, and. Basically, what it's showing me based off of this oblong show that represents finances and money, it falls on the Taurus energy. So it looks like, okay, it looks like by the time May comes, your money is going to take a downfall, okay? But then it's going to come back up. So don't worry about it, Aries, whether you're male or female. Your money's going to take a downfall. You're going to take some financial losses, okay? But it will come back up, okay? Now, let's go over to... These are what we call the carry shells. The carry shells represent your ancestors, okay? Now, what's crazy is because this carry shell falls, it falls right into Jupiter, the planet Jupiter, right? And the planet Jupiter is the most spiritual planet in the galaxy, okay? And the planet Jupiter is responsible for guiding your path, 
Okay? Your, okay. Su your success. Also, talking to your high spiritual self. So the planet Jupiter is going to be spending a lot of time with you and you need to spend a lot of time with your ancestors because what Spirit is showing me along with this divination reading is that you need to commune with your ancestors more because there's going to be some energy that's going to be diffused in your DNA from the planet Jupiter. Don't say that and tell you so, okay? So when you see that, not only that, one falls up, one falls down, it just may, basically means at this time you have been kind of been ignoring your ancestors, and if you don't know about your ancestors, get to learn about them. Go pour some water to your ancestors, pour some libations, get to know your ancestors, set up an altar for your ancestors, okay? Do not ignore them because they're very prevalent in this reading right here, and Jupiter, the planet Jupiter, which is going to bring energy to the Aries um, especially this month of February, okay? Now, let's go over here. We have, let's see. This one falls on Neptune. This stone falls on Neptune. Okay, so this right here is a, a, another form of seashell, okay? And it falls on the planet Neptune, okay? Neptune is the planet responsible for intuition, dreams, okay? Dealing with your unconscious mind, okay? Because we use at least 80% of our unconscious mind. So the planet Neptune is responsible for that energy right there. So this stone falls on... Um, the uh, uh neptune planet and and basically aries pay attention to your dreams okay also get ready because your intuition is going to be heightened because we're in a different energy now you're getting a lot of energy from jupiter so your 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 your, your dna is getting ready to be enhanced okay so that means your intuition is going to be enhanced so aries do get ready because as you're going through the spiritual transformation you're going to get a lot of energy from the different planets you got neptune neptune pay attention to your dreams aries get a book when you wake up, write down your dreams. Start learning how to decode them. See what they mean, okay? So Aries, do get serious about, you know, going through this transformation because there's a lot of spiritual energy is coming to you from the planets as well, okay? Southwest. So this show actually falls in the southwest, uh, southwest aspect of the cardinal points of the earth, and it talks about ancient wisdom, ancient being physically existing here a thousand years or more. Aries, you're one of the beings that's been on this planet for a very long time. You have reincarnated to this planet many, many, many times. Many times. So when this shell falls in this in this cardinal point southwest of the actual Earth, and southwest, let me see, southwest, you got south and you got east. So east, south, and southwest. All of this is a representation of you, who you are, and what your sign represents. Aries, you are definitely an ancient one. Okay, you've been here many times. But you got caught up in the physical energy in this time, in this present time, and you have, like, you know, geared away from your spirituality, which is why Jupiter is bringing you back to reality of who you are and how many times you've been here. This information is not new to you. This information is ancient to you. You just forgot it, okay? Which you're getting ready to remember real soon, okay? okay? Now, let's see. All right, so we have, uh, let's see, okay. So, I think they're pretty much wraps that up because now your um stone your other stone here falls right in the same place in southwest ancient so yeah you're very ancient you, you, and you should have ancient wisdom but you forgot so we're going to forgive you aries but at the end of the day um you're getting ready to remember who you were and how long you've been here Stop. How are you? I'm back. Aries, you got one more thing for you. Okay. So, Aries, we're going to shuffle the cards of Ganesha. And, and, and family, I love this deck. I love this deck because it's very accurate. Now, you know, uh, Ganesha was also connected to our ancient African ones, too. If you do your homework, you will find out about Ganesha. But I love this deck because every time I use this deck... When I do use it, because most of the time I read clairvoyantly for my clients, um, but sometimes I get lazy and I'll pull out, you know, the deck. Um, it's usually on point, and that's what I love about Ganesha, okay? So we're going to ask Ganesha, what energy do we see for Aries this month of February? What do we see, Ganesha, this month of February for Aries? Let's see what we get. Now, let's see. There's some big cards, family, so just bear with me. And, and a lot of you are wondering... 
Why has she got them bands around her arm? I'm just sharing a little bit of information with you. We actually have certain medicines we use in Africa and certain medicines that we have put in our, in our um, you know, body. So the sacred medicines that are used and you have to put cuts in your different parts of your body and this one is for our wrist, okay? So these these basically are kind of, you know, they have to stay on for a couple of days, you know, as you do your cuts so your medicine can go throughout your body. And that's as much as I'm going to give you all. But anyway, because I know people who are nosy are going to ask, well, why does she got them things around her wrist? But anyway, okay, so let's see what Ganesha. Ganesha, what energy do you have for Aries? What energy do you have for Aries? Let's see. Okay, let me just do it this way because they're big. They're bigger than my hands, family. So let's see what Ganesha has. All right. Oh, let me see. Do that. Let me pull this out. Wholeness. All right. So Ganesha says, recognize that you are part of something larger, Aries. Also, you need to recognize that you have a connection here on this planet. And that ties right into what we just read on the astrological, cosmological map. You have a connection. You're Earth sign. You're a ram, Aries. Okay. So Ganesha is telling you basically the same things. Okay. But Ganesha is saying that you must become divine and one with the universe, Aries. So make sure that you embrace this spiritual transformation you're going through because it's very important for you to become divine and one with the universe. Ganesha is also guiding you to recognize the sacred truth that you are a divine being here to give and receive love, Aries. So remember, you're, you're an earth sign and you are responsible and a caretaker of this earth and you are responsible for humanity. So it's very important that you give and you receive love. Okay? So this is the message from Ganesha. And she also says, she, he, I don't know, some people call him a he, I call Ganesha a she. Well, what do you think? Do you think Ganesha is a she or do you think she's a he? I think it's a she. Okay, but whatever you choose to call Ganesha, it's a spiritual being. And Ganesha says that it's time for you to recognize your role in this life. You are complete and whole as you are, lacking nothing. Now, as I told you in the cosmological, astrological map, in that map, in the month of February, and I'm going to say until May, May you're going to see financial loss, but you're not going to lack anything. But you know what? going to have a financial loss, so do pay attention to that, right? I also realize Aries, uh, Ganesha is telling you that green is a represent uh, representative of the fourth chakra. And you all know the fourth chakra, the heart chakra, okay? So do, do take care of your heart. This is the message from Ganesha, and I want to thank you for tuning in again. I'm Munam, a.k.a. Nikki Love, your African indigenous traditional healer. Have a good night. So I guess that pretty much wraps it up for the Aries energy, okay? Um, do get ready. Focus on your spirituality, okay? Do focus on your spirituality. Also, remember your finances are going to go stagnant. They're going to go stagnant in um, May. And also, too, Spirit is saying that you also... Have to get ready to become indigenous to the land, Aries, because you are a ram sign. You are a land sign. You are a ram, right? And rams are what earth, earth, you know, um, beings. So, uh, Aries, get ready to get indigenous to this land. Okay, you got work to do. But I want to thank you for tuning in. I'm Mulam, aka Nick Love, your African traditional healer, and uh, let us know what sign you want us to read next. Bless you.